we are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. There's Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway from the Superdome. Here's Harvin. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Vic now. Got a man and he hits him in stride. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, New Orleans. Lance Allward, 82 yards. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Pushes him over, and he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Well, partners, my old man used to say, make sure you strap up tight if you're going to try and stop one of those big horses out there. As you just saw there, this guy does not go down easily. He'll buy some time right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 44-yard line. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. Yeah, not much there that time, and I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. They go play action with Wilson. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. On third down, it's Parsons. He finds some open field here. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A great play there. 36 yards. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Here's Harvin. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. 
And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity missed. It definitely was, because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. And Vic's throw there incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's a give to Lynch. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. On third down, they go Lynch. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. They'll try to throw it here, Vic. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Let's phrase this delicately, okay? Might have had a better option instead of throwing the football into double coverage. He was blanketed. I was surprised that he went his direction. Yeah, should have thought maybe about the check down. Take the completion, keep moving. The throw on second down from Vic, incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Ed Tutal Jones. Drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Vic readies to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And the Bucs force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. And that was one I kind of saw coming, Charles. He had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting. And he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means the free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he did there. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? 
He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself. Touchdown, Saints! Marshawn Lynch from 10 yards out. And the Saints have taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Now left side on the swing pass, and a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 49. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21 to 7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes <laughs> And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Steeler legend Troy Palomalu with a pick. And he's able to get it back to the 33. 